All right, uh, Governor Quinn recently uh, released his latest budget proposal. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? He's never going to keep it. And the reason I'm saying he's not going to keep it is, is he's going back by a hatch of a mouth. He just wants to hack things, scare people, and keep on the uh, tax increase. If you look at what he's saying is, he doesn't have a clue in the world. He just wants to make cuts again. All right. Um, to fix Illinois' uh, budget woes, what do you think about uh, possibly using some reforms like those used by Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker? You mean... Uh, collective, collective bargaining and union reforms. You mean union busting? Uh, well, you mean voting for right to work? Yeah, right to work or... Uh, I'm absolutely 100% opposed to voting for right to work. I, I say uh, part of uh, Governor Walker's uh, reforms included uh, having the uh, public sector unions make higher pension and health care uh, contributions. That has changes. been negotiated between the unions and the governor's office. All right. Um, and I would not vote for it. Okay. Uh, what do you think about pot, about repealing the uh, across the board uh, tax increase on individuals and corporations in Illinois? That's now that's now a year old. 100% in favor of it. You didn't listen to my speech. <laughs> no, I did not. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Um, uh, a, a part of the uh, tax increases last year was something called an Amazon tax, which uh, directly caused Roscoe, Illinois-based FatWallet.com to relocate to Wisconsin. Do you favor repealing that tax increase? Yes. Care to elaborate? Or? Oh, because it goes on my platform. <laughs> we want taxes to encourage business. All right, uh, and how do you encourage business? We get our state back in balance and budget, and we go after work fraud and workman's comp. We go after fraud and Medicaid. We go after fraud. There's $1.5 billion uh, people come from other states losing our kid care system because they only have to reside in the state for one day. We need to address that. We need to get our waiver from the federal government. All right. Um, what are your thoughts on the uh, Illinois version of the DREAM Act? Clarify. Uh, the Dream, the Illinois version created a scholarship fund for illegal immigrants in the state Opposed. of Illinois. You, you're opposed, you want it repealed? Yes. All right. Um, uh, where uh, or what uh, specific items do you think should be cut from the Illinois budget? Cut from the Illinois budget? Yes. The governor's staff. <laughs> no, we need to go in and start cutting it's going to sound really bizarre, but we got to start cutting the people at the top first. We have to go and start cutting. And how we do that is we have to set up and look at each agency and have a review process and have them justify why they need to exist by the legislative body and pass laws and telling the governor, you no longer have this authority. All right. Uh, Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel has recently proposed uh, having all the guns in Illinois registered. Uh, there is a proposal. No way. To, th yeah, there is a proposal uh, to tax ammunition in Illinois. Uh, last year or so, the AP was uh, trying to get the information of every Floyd card holder in Illinois. Do you believe that the Second Amendment is under attack? Yes. You didn't hear my speech. <laughs> a. A. Everybody has the right to carry arms. B. I told you, no new tax increases. C. Charging people to carry a gun is a tax increase. All right. Thank you very much.